Well, they went to work because they needed a job. But once they began, they learned what they found was much more than that. News 19's Dave Soley spent some time with former employees of, uh, Dave, what you might call a lacrosse restaurant tradition. Yeah, I think that's fair, Heather. The new Villa restaurant was located at 2132 Ward Avenue in La Crosse before closing in 1999. They served good food and drink, but maybe best remembered for Friday night fish fries and Hershey almond pie. What you might not know is that's only part of the success. The other part was the longevity of its employees. For example, it was not uncommon to work at the new villa 20 years. Some work longer, 30 or even 40 years. And the employees we spoke with during a new villa reunion yesterday, more than 22 years after the restaurant closed, explain why the new villa was such a success. I can say that I worked in a lot of different places. I waitressed for 30 some years at different places and around, but I never worked in a place where it was such a family oriented between the, the Ken and Jay that owned it, the mother and dad that were involved, uh, their wives, uh, and it was just one big family. And I think if New Villa would have kept on being open, that would have probably been my only job that I would have ever had. Yeah, I liked it there. It was just like one big happy family. Well, that's the story we heard over and over again from one employee after another. And there was nothing magic about it. But coming up at six, a bit more detail about that restaurant and why those employees were so loyal and happy to work there. Sounds like a nice place to be with a lot of good people. All right, thank you, Dave. The new villa opened in 1937. In 1961, it was sold to the owner for whom the employees at the reunion worked. Ken Pruksh. Now at six, you'll hear from Ken's son, his son Matt, uh, and more of the people who attended that reunion, and we'll hear why Matt says the new villa finally closed.